Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to show you how to take uh, CC 2018 and create a path and then rig it up using Duic tools uh, to create the inverse kinematics. Mikey's Production Tips is brought to you by Cinema Spice. After Effects tools, video overlays and backgrounds, and sound effects. Now you're probably thinking, hey Mikey, I can already do that and I don't even have CC 2018. Well, you're right and you're wrong. This is working a little bit differently. So what I've done here is I've created a path and instead of using the puppet tool to manipulate the shape, it's actually moving the points of the path. Uh, first off, this tutorial isn't going to be 100% full tutorial on Duic, and it's not going to be 100% full tutorial on path point access. It's going to be kind of something in between, so you'll get a little bit of one and a little bit of the other, but I just want to show you how to rig up a path point so it works with Duic. Now, you're going to need a couple of things. First off, you will need the Duic tools. So right now on version 15, and if you haven't uh, done so yet, make sure you, uh, you know, donate, support, um, follow him on Patreon, things like that, uh, because he puts these out for free, and they're it's always great stuff. Uh, another tool you'll need for this is the Create Nulls from Paths Extended. There's already a Create, a create Nulls from Paths script that comes with CC 2018. This adds a little bit more stuff to it we'll need for this, it, uh, and namely the handle controls so that we can have curves in our lines. Otherwise, it's not going to work quite correctly. There will be links to both of these in the description. Make sure you go, you support, you follow. Um, follow this guy's uh, YouTube channel, and then make sure you check out right here. It says check out some of my other stuff right here. So just go over to his links and uh, see what else he has to offer because both of these uh, individuals are putting these scripts out for free. So um, that's super nice of them. All right, so I've got Duic installed, and it actually came with an installer. Um, for the other script, you can file, script, run the script file, and then just open it up. And what it looks like is this right here. And then compare that to the other script that comes with um, After Effects. You can see this has uh, points follow nulls, nulls follow points, trace path, those three, but then this has create path from selected, um, handle controls, and use locators. And the thing that we want to check when we're doing this is handle controls. All right, let me just show you kind of real quick what we're going to be making. So you can see this is a shape layer. And I can come into the shape layer. I can adjust, you know, and change the color. and there's no puppet tools. So let's go into a new composition. And I've created this big blue leg that's kind of chubby. So definitely something um, that's you can't really create this using, you know, something like a rubber hose because the rubber hose ends up looking, you know, thin and like a rubber hose. So first thing we need to do is take this path Make sure you highlight the uh, path down in the contents. And we are going to create the points that follow the nulls using this script. So make sure your path is selected and that the handle controls are checked. And then let's just click that points follow nulls button. And you can see what it does is it goes and creates um, lots of null objects. see all the way there and then um, and these nulls you know follow uh, create that path um, that's kind of what we had going with the other script that uh, After Effects provides but this also has all the little handles so that uh, your curves are going to work uh, properly as well and they're already linked up just the way you want where the two handles for this point is is linked up um, so you, you can rotate um, say this null and you can see those handles uh, follow just the way it should so that's cool 
Now, but we need to add some more null objects of our own to create the hip and the knee and the ankle and the toe. So let's add a new null object. Let's put this right here for the hip, duplicate it, bring it for the knee, duplicate it, down for the ankle, and then over to the toe. And let's name these Now what this script also does is all of these handles, um, nulls, these little blue ones, they automatically uh, put them in the hide icon so you can, you can shy those layers and they disappear since they're already uh, parented to where you need to go. You, most of the time you don't even need to mess around with them. Now what we need to do is um, parent some of these existing nulls that we created to the new nulls that we created. So up for the hip, I want to take this and this, these two that are right around the hip, and you might have to kind of experiment with what goes with what um, in order to create the look you want, but I know with this leg, I want these two, and I'm going to parent those. Oh, I accidentally named that toe, didn't I? That one's hip. So those two, parent to hip, these two, parent to knee those two let's parent to ankle that one needs to be parented to the ankle as well and then these two I believe are the last ones let's parent those to the toe and then just look through um, these ones, make sure they're all connected to something and none of them say none. And that's right. Now we need to parent the toe to the ankle, ankle to the knee, and knee to the hip. And that's uh, just kind of what you need to do in order for Duic to um, uh, see everything properly. And now let's actually, I'm going to go in and I want to. I want to just hide all of these so I don't see the handles. Okay. Now all we have is these four new uh, null objects that we created. We need to also add in the Duic uh, panel. So make sure you have Duic, open it up, uh, launch it. And there is this controller. So click on control and create a controller. And let's put this down right on the ankle and then we want to select the hip the, the knee then the ankle don't select the toe and then select the controller and then what that does is it tells uh, Duick this is the order um, you know the first one you select is the is the top of the line the one that everything's parented to and then the controller is the last one you select and then go into the Duick panel and click IK make sure it's on a two layer not a three layer and then create and then we have see messed up a little bit here okay so what we have going on here is some of the handles are not exactly connected to the right ones we want to. So let's go in and unhide those. So it looks like this guy right here is doing some funny stuff. So this right now is connected to um, shape layer nine. But we want to let's connect it to shape layer um, one. See if that makes a difference.
and that is a lot better. So like I said, you're going to have to kind of mess around with um, what is connected to what. So it looks like this one right here. We also want to change what that's connected to. So this guy is connected to a layer 24 and let's connect it to layer 27 instead. All right, that's looking better. So with a little bit of tweaking, I'm able to get this um, how I want. And um, that is how you can rig up a path um, in CC 2018 to work with uh, Duic tools. And <clears throat> like I said, as far as what is connected to what with the handles, it's not always exactly clear. Um, there's not a clear answer to it. It just depends on what your shape looks like. Um, as you can see, uh, some of my handles, which were automatically connected to the nulls it created, I wanted to actually move those to different nulls. Um, but that wasn't hard to do. But, you know, with the shape layer, you have all the same tools and stuff with the shape layer. So I can come in and change the fill, uh, change the stroke, even add to this, you know, um, wiggle paths or something like that. And there we have it, using Duic Tools with the new CC 2018 Pathpoint Access. So if you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. Make sure you share this with uh, your friends. And uh, thank you so much for watching.